Hi, my name is Sandra. I'm a part of the FUDS program at Greensburg Salem. I'm a junior. Last Spanish class that I took was AP Spanish. I also take Child Development. I'm in Child Development 2 um, right now. And I also work with the kids at my church. So why I'm in this is because I really enjoy working with kids and it's just a fun experience for me. But also I want to learn how to teach in more of a class setting that's surrounded by a language, specifically Spanish, than just the normal curriculum like math, language arts, science. And I want to work with older kids because I usually work with pre-K or kindergarten, so I want to work with kids that are a little bit older. In middle school, I had a great experience. I love Spanish. It was the moment where it really clicked for me, like, this is exactly what I want to do. And after about the first quarter, I just fell in love with it and I started to study outside of class, listen to music in Spanish, watch movies in Spanish start going to the Spanish teacher and asking questions that weren't relevant to exactly the curriculum that we were learning, but advanced topics. Um, and she definitely helped um, persuade me into continuing Spanish. My advice to my younger self, but also other people, is just don't listen to what others say. For me, I had an issue where I listened to what others said, and it definitely held me back in my Spanish because others did not like that I really enjoyed Spanish. So they made fun of me and whatnot. So I started to hide that I like Spanish. If I could go back, I would have just ignored it. So I just don't want others to fall into the same issues that I did. But also, if you really enjoy Spanish, then, or any language, um, start practicing it outside of your class. So listen to music outside of class, read books outside of class that are in that language, watch movies, speak in that language outside of class to your family or friends. Do as much as you can outside of class to get extra practice in. So how language has affected me um, in my other classes is that it's really helped my memory. So it gives me another way for me to connect words, especially my vocab words, with more than just the definition. It gives me an extra word in a different language and sort of helps me remember it a lot better. Spanish 4 and AP Spanish have been extremely different from my early Spanish classes because it gave, gave me a lot more independence in what I was um, studying, usually in the lower language classes, so three, two, and one. You usually have a certain curriculum that you're going to follow, a certain topic that you have to study. But in Spanish 4 and AP Spanish, we sort of got the chance to decide what vocab we wanted to study and decide what exactly interested us and in what we could expand our vocab on personally. So the extracurricular activities that I've done with my language is I did the apples competition, which is a language competition in my freshman and sophomore year. My freshman year, it helped me just understand exactly what I needed to work on with my language development. In my sophomore year, it helped me with just learning the culture of Spanish-speaking countries a lot more because I did a painting. The change in me that language has done is that it's just helped me be more open-minded and have a bigger perspective than just what's happening in America or what's happening in my small city. It gave me a bigger perspective of what's happening in the world specifically Spanish-speaking countries and how they get mistreated. 